In January of last year, 2015, I started a documentary on the RSPB's Wild Coast project at Wallasey Island. At that time, I described what point the development had reached and then went back in July to also film the breaching of the sea wall which allowed the tidal waters to inundate the eastern end of the island. Today, one year later after my first visit, I'm back to ascertain how these changes have affected the environment and the wildlife so far. The first and most obvious difference is the opening of the Jubilee Marsh Trail, which runs from north to south across Wallasey Island. The conveyor belt used to transfer crossrails tunnelling extraction from the ships at the jetty to the island has fallen silent and the earth moving vehicles have left, but as you walk along the Jubilee Trail, you can see the results of their work. From the top of one of the several sluice gates, it's apparent how water flow is regulated to the more established western part of the project. Looking east from the trail, the view is quite different. This is the section of the reserve which has been changed the most, and it is still a raw environment. The invertebrates, which eventually will attract the many migrant waders, have yet to colonise the mudflats here, and it appears rather deserted. However, there is evidence that some species are optimistic and are already trying their luck. Continuing down the path, we come upon a sort of open-topped hide into which it's possible to walk and get views of the low-tide lagoons while still being partially obscured. These bred geese seem rather unconcerned by the presence of me and my camera. As I walk back to the car park, the fading light begins to encourage roosting, both on the reserve and the river estuary. Reaching my destination, it's raptor time and the local harriers and owls begin their evening search for small, unsuspecting prey. After today, I'm pleased to see that although as usual nature is taking its time to make the most of these developments, Wallasey Island is well on its way to becoming a significant and extensive RSPB reserve. <laughs>